Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to work on this uh, Epson EcoTank printer. And uh, when you start up, it goes to uh, 0000032. So we go to Google and uh, search for BCH and uh, Epson Air. And you're going to see a link that said Epson's triple security error code. Or if you have a cell phone, you can text EP Air to this number and uh, I'm going to reply with the link so you can just uh, check your phone and uh, work on it. The page is pretty long so we do a search, Control F, search for 000032 and you can see, uh, ah, come on, you can see it is a uh, carriage return, load position error, over speed error. That means the print head is moving too fast on the, I don't know, it's a X axis. Um, or so potential problem is a PF encoder error. And that's the, the somebody call it a clear belt. Some uh, call it a timing, uh, timing belt. Some people call it a timing scale or a PF encoder scale. It is this clear belt. If you look carefully, there's a little marks on the belt. So the printer can going to read the marks and figure out where the printhead is. So basically, the Air32, it tells you the printer cannot read this belt, something with, so there's something maybe wrong with this belt or something wrong with the sensor, the reader, uh, or something else. Let's take a look. Or maybe something have a big knot that prevents your printer reading from the belt. Yeah, this cable is way too long than it should. I've seen this a lot. We have a printer repair service that over work log is uh, weeks, weeks long. So yeah, let me show you how to fix it so you don't have to send your printer in. Or if you're in, in North Carolina, uh, bring your printer in with a home baked pie and I can adjust it for free for you. Oh, change my mind. Don't do the pie. Uh, peach cobbler, please. Okay, um, another thing we need to check before we do anything is to check that if the belt is set correctly inside the sensor. You will need a flashlight. You need to see the belt is flat and uh, not blocked and uh, not twisted and sit right between the two pieces of plastic. Okay. And here it comes up. And uh, let me freeze this. You can see the belt is flat and uh, right between the two pieces of plastic. And that's perfect. And next, we just use some water to clean the, clean the belt. You can see get a fair amount of uh, spilled ink and dirt. Now slide the uh, print that all the way to the left and touch the wall. And you can see this is uh, excessive. Uh, cables. So you kind of just push it in and uh, you're going to bulge up in the middle and uh, you push it in, bulge up and uh, push it in. Uh, much better. And uh, just make sure that they can touch both uh, both side of walls and before you do anything. As long as the printer can touch both sides, uh, make the cable as short as possible. Uh, you're supposed to turn off the power when you do this and uh, so forgive me forgot about it i just realized i have the power on when i'm doing this while i'm editing this video so you should cut the power off uh, before doing anything here uh, anyway so now we've cut the power off and uh, we're going to turn it on back on and uh, make sure the print head uh, can move smoothly and uh, no more knots and uh, no more errors so doing your print, the printer can gradually pull this cable, uh, pull it out longer and longer. So uh, if you get tired of it, you can apply some silicon, silicon gel or uh, like us have uh, some glue and apply to the joint. So the cable will be fixed there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. 
Hello, mortals. Your printer is saved. Kevin's YouTube channel is the answer to your prayers.